morning. So this is a collage of basically little clips that I've taken throughout of last week. So you get a rough idea of kind of what I get up to in the shop on a daily basis. Uh, consider this a pilot as there's lots of things that I think need to be ironed out. But if you let me uh, know if you like it or not, that would be grand. And uh, here we go. Hopefully some of you will care about this. Uh, so this is usually how my deliveries come. So on like a mon uh, usually a Monday, sometimes a Tuesday like today. So uh, order some plants. I can't remember what they were. So unbox these. Don't think that. Ah, okay, I remember. So I ordered in essentially edible plants. So this one is plantain i think uh so plantain's really good for beardies tortoises etc so you can just put in the whole plant and it's like super super fresh is it plantain yeah it is and then some lamb's lettuce which i always find beardies really really enjoy um but you can literally just pop them in their enclosures uh, and then good to go so i'm gonna trial these see how they go um, and then go from there if they are popular then I'll just order um, more of them in and then this is how my live food will come um, ta -da! Um, so yeah, for some reason uh, this past weekend there was so many crickets sold uh, so I've had to do a big restock on crickets uh, wax worms the flightless fruit fly flies only. Glad I nailed that first time because sometimes it comes out as fluffy, 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 fluffy. Uh, I know, got some isopods, so giant orange. These are for a customer. Um, I think I got tropical greys as well. I can't remember. This is the issue, I'll order loads of stuff and forget I've ordered it. Um, but yep, so there's loads of small crickets, silent crickets, standard, large, just everything. So I'll now get these unboxed and on the shelf. So, the annoying thing with Frozen is that the, obviously the bags are really cold and these are really, these are biodegradable ones, so they just sort of start sticking to everything. But I've got fish in here, um, mice, rats, etc. all ready to go. Um, you usually get these like once a week just to sort of top up, but if you do let me know exactly what it is you want. I can then usually sort of specifically order it in for you. So I'm going to unbox this now and uh, crack on with also putting the live food away. Just had this adorable little chunker come in for a holiday. His name is Atmos. And he's staying here for about, a, is it nine? Nine days? Um, so welcome to your new temporary home, buddy. There we go. Let's move your tail out of the door. You good? Bit confused. It's alright. We'll look after you, won't we? Nice. Cool, so he's now away. Um, UVB, LED. Uh, I've started trying to put LED in all of the enclosures if I can, uh, just to get a wider spectrum, uh, which is good for their eyesight and circadian rhythm. So, your first time, I think, getting LED. But your owners are also going to be looking at upgrading, which is super good. Cool. Right, we'll let you settle, and then we'll check on you later. So, I've just had this little Pictus gecko arrive. It looks amelanistic, but I could be wrong. But, look at it. Isn't it the cutest thing? This is for a customer. Uh, so, by the time this goes up, uh, it will no longer be here. But, oh my god. I could squeeze it. I won't, obviously. But look at it. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> little teeth. <laughs> oh, these are good. These are little teeth. So I had a few new products coming to the shop and I did record it, but for 
some reason it all went a bit funny. So just to go through some of them, this being one of my favorites, uh, it's a little acrylic enclosure, uh, which has a removable bottom, which is very strongly on there with magnets. And also you can take the top off as well. I've essentially just made a tiny little isopod home in there. Um, tiny little scoops, which I think are really, really cute and really good for just general cleaning. Little arboreal holders. Uh, so this is basically a new brand by one of my suppliers. Uh, so I thought I'd just get a mix of stuff in and try it out. Uh, these are really cool. So usually with the little mealworm bowls, they're kind of plastic and have that kind of bit that goes over. Uh, to stop the mealworms coming up, but they've got this proper magnetic ridge, so it's really solid. Um, and these were quite interesting too. So they're little uh, thermo hygrometers, uh, but they're super thin. So just another way of calibrating and making sure everything's correct. I did also get one other thing, so I'll quickly get a video of that. And it's this absolute beauty. Uh, so it's a little mister that you can Obviously, we'll missed enclosures, missed your plants, and so forth. With uh, it's a two litre capacity, so it's nice and big. Again, I like to get stuff in to test before I then go, Oh, cool, I'm gonna sell this to people. Uh, but I really, really like this. You've either got this extender no nozzle, uh, or you've got a uh, sort of the standard sort of nozzle at the end. But I really like this because it means you can get right into places. So, I've just put it together, I've put the extender nozzle, nozzle on there. Uh, just because it looked a bit cooler, but let's give it, ooh, okay. That's interesting. So it looks to give a really wide um, and extremely fine, the camera's sort of picking it up, extremely fine mist, which if you're misting for stuff like crested geckos uh, and anything that will drink from a leaf, then this is going to be perfect because the finer you get the spray, uh, the better the water droplets you create, the more natural it is. Obviously, you don't want a lot, again, a lot with the pump ones when you pump them and, and use them. Uh, the actual beam itself is quite aggressive, which isn't very natural in terms of how water would land. But if I get a close up here, is it going to let me? No, but you can sort of see the, how the water droplets have formed. That, that's like the perfect water droplet to drink from. Um, so I'm gonna get these all pressed up and uh, hopefully have a crack in Saturday. Bye. So this is just a 35, 35, 40 that I've set up for a customer. And I figured I would just go through what I've done and why. So it's for a little crested gecko. Um, and I think what a lot of people miss is having a place that they can lay flat and comfortable uh, why won't that focus flat and comfortable uh, while also having coverage so I know a lot of people don't like using uh, the sort of silk plants but it does make life a lot easier uh, when you do especially if the tank isn't that grown in so for example this should eventually climb up onto there uh, but for the time being it won't so that it will be hopefully a preferable perching spot. If not, it also runs across on here. Uh, so if the crestie itself prefers to uh, sit on branches and sleep, it can. If it prefers to go on the cork bark, it can. And again, there's a spot here as well. So it's about creating perches that can be covered with foliage so that the crestie has somewhere nice it can lay. Because what you want to avoid is them sitting on the glass and then having the tails sort of flopping over um, as that can cause damage to the lower spine and that's when you get that sort of floppy tail in cresties. Uh, but hopefully this should do perfectly. There's leaf litter in the bottom. Again, that's a mix of aesthetics, but it will also, as it breaks down, feed the plants as well. Uh, so I'm gonna get the little cresty in there and that will be going to the customer tomorrow. So that was essentially the first episode of the vlogging type thing as i said i know there's a few bits to sort of iron out and, and kind of go through but if you let me know kind of the things that interest you or we, what you want to know whether it's what i do with the animals sort of on a daily basis uh more sort of random unboxing of, of sort of deliveries and things let me know um but yeah 
pilot episode, be kind, constructive criticism. Um, uh, yeah, that, that's it. I will uh, hopefully see you on the next one. Bye.